Hello booktube, it's me Birdie and I'm here with my September slash October library book haul. I have gotten a number of books, I don't have all of them physically here because, I mean, it's been a while since the beginning of September when I did take out a lot of these books, so they were obviously due and I had to return them. But I do have a couple here with me and I will show you them and then I'll, of course with the books that I don't have I'll show you a um, cover their cover right over here as well so you'll see what they look like too if you're <laughs> interested but anyway let's get into the books the first book that i got was a long way to a small angry planet by becky chambers now this is a space opera where there are science fiction elements to it but the main focus are the interactions between the various characters as with this and a lot of the other books i've read you'll see them in my either my september wrap-up or my october wrap-up which i will be posting hopefully within the next week <laughs> but we'll see but yeah if you want to see more of my thoughts on any of these books you should definitely check those two videos out when they're both posted i already have my september one posted but when my october one is posted as well you'll be able to see more of my thoughts on a lot of these books but anyway yeah so this is a space opera it is mostly character based instead of plot based i did not know that going in so i'm just warning you now the second book i have is astrophysics for people in a hurry by neil degrasse tyson this deals with similar content as a brief history of time but i feel like because neil degrasse tyson is a much more personable person um his writing is a little bit easier to follow or at least get gripped in by because he is talking in a very conversational way. The next book I picked up was The Mysterious Affair of S at Styles um, by Agatha Christie. This is her first in her Hercule Pro series where basically some kind of crime has happened or in this case um, a murder has happened in Hercule, Hercule, I cannot say his name right now, Hercule Pro is trying to investigate what has happened. So this one happened in a mansion and that's basically all I want to give away because I do think you should go into these kind of mysterious novels without knowing much. Following this I picked up The Girl on the Train by Paula Hawkins. This is a very popular thriller novel. I mean it came out a couple of years ago so the hype has kind of died down a little bit but if you don't know this is about a woman who is traveling to and from work on a train and while she's on this journey she looks out the window and kind of connects with the people she sees through the window. Um, something happens to the people that she has been making a story of and so <laughs> she becomes invested and tries to figure out what has happened and it's really just crazy. I did not like it, just <laughs> heads up. But yeah, so the next book I picked up from the library was Inferno by Dan Brown, which is very surprising because I somehow do not own this book, even though it is one of my favorite series of all times. So yeah, I'm not going to talk about it too much because I've already talked about it before. Then we have Jurassic Park by Michael Crichton. Again, this is pretty popular. If you haven't read the book, you still probably know the premise that basically dinosaurs have been come back from extinction extinct <laughs> dinosaurs have been brought back from extinction um, and are the kind of attraction within an amusement park and ba bad stuff obviously happens then i borrowed carrie by stephen king from the library because i'm hoping to get through eventually all of his books in the way he's written them and carrie was the first even though of course last year or the year before I read The Shining, which was the third book he he has written. Um, this is basically about a teenage girl who's bullied and unbeknownst to anybody else she has powers, telekinetic powers, and eventually she is brought to use them because of how bad she's been bullied in school. Then we have You by Caroline Kepnes. This is another thriller book that I've kind of heard a bit about on book two. It's a thriller where basically the stalker is addressing the person he's stalking in second person so it kind of is supposed to feel like you the reader are the person he's stalking. Again you'll see this I think in my October wrap-up. Did not really enjoy it. I don't really think these kinds of thrillers are my type of book, so. Then I borrowed Ready Player One by Ernest Klein. This is a post-apocalyptic 80s pop culture novel, and again, this was popular a couple, of year, a couple of years ago, and I wanted to see if I liked it. Just want to let you know, though, this is not dystopian. There are potential 
points where it could have become dystopic, but because the focus is not on the societal disintegration, it is not dystopic. Just letting you know. Then I borrowed Cinder by Marissa Meyer. Once again, very popular book on booktube. Wanted to see if I enjoyed it. Did not. This is basically a reimagining of Cinderella, but in a... I don't want to say science fiction world because there really wasn't anything that made it that much scientific. It was kind of in a post-apocalyptic world where Cinderella is a mechanic and part cyber, cyborg. I guess that's the only dis uh, science fiction element in it. Again, not a dystopia at all. Then, which I do have, is Dracula by Bram Stoker. I'm currently reading this, um, so I, I don't have much to say about it, but obviously this is about the vampire, the very famous vampire that kind of started the vampire trend. But yeah, it's enjoyable. I mean, it's a bit hard to read, which I didn't know this was going to be written in kind of more letter format or journal entries and stuff. Um, I really didn't know what to expect with the actual text. I knew basic, the basic... Um, summary, I guess, of what the book is about, or the figure around Dracula, but it is actually very dif different than you would think, so I'll let you guys know once I finish this how I feel about it. Then I borrowed The Night Circus um, by Aaron Morgenstern. This, again, has been um, very much talked about on booktube, specifically by one booktuber, but I forget her name at this moment, and I feel bad. Um, but yeah, she's been raving about it and I wanted to see how I felt about it. So this is basically a um, challenge between two magical students and it takes place in a circus and it ends up growing to be much more than just the game. And that's all I'm going to say. And then the next two books I actually read before these two that I just talked about. But the first is... A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J. Mass, and then A Court of Wings and Ruin. I was not expecting to finish this series this year. I was planning on saving it for next year, but for some reason around Halloween when I went, when I went back home, I just had the desire to read this. And let me tell you, I read the second book the second I got it, and when that happened, I was waiting to um, pick my mom up from school because she's an elementary school substitute teacher. Well, let me tell you, with the second book, it starts with the sexy time stuff right, like, the first couple of pages. You should have seen how red my face was because I'm reading some steamy scenes while I'm in the parking lot of an elementary school. That, uh, I felt dirty. <laughs> but, yeah, and I finished that, I think, either later that day or the day after, and then I picked up this one is as soon as it was available at my library and finished this a little bit longer than it took me to read the second one, but still flew through this pretty quickly. So yeah, this is basically a, I, I don't know, after reading the second and third book, it's a little bit more than a Beauty and the Beast retelling, but that's how the first book starts out and it just evolves from there. And I do think this is a good series. Well, okay. I'll get more into this in my November, well, October, November wrap up, but this series is just crack. I just, <laughs> I had to read it as soon as I picked them up, like I had to finish it as soon as possible, but yeah. So those are the books I borrowed from the library in September and October. What books have you been borrowing from the library and what do you suggest I take out from the library? I would love to know your thoughts. But yeah, that's it and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.